my son Michael out the country, who am I supposed to borrow money from? Tito? I don't think so. <laughs> I need to maintain my high style of living. That's why we're having the Never Never Land sale. You'll never find a bargain like these. Everything gotta go. Come on, boy, bring the behind. <laughs> now take this llama, for instance. This little beauty costs thousands of dollars in a big city zoo. But see, down here at the Never Never Land, you can walk it off the lot for just $99.99. That's right, $99.99. Spurs so soft, you can ride them butt naked. Michael did. <laughs> Come on, boy, bring it behind. Come on. <laughs> Need blank videotapes? We literally have thousands. These home videos had to be bulk erased to avoid prosecution. And now we pass the savings on to you. Go on now. <laughs> and while you're watching your home movies, how about some popcorn? <laughs> the Elephant Man's skull makes a great popcorn bowl. I am not an animal. <laughs> now, come on, Marlon, bring me that box, man. <laughs> how about some children's clothes? These used to belong to Michael's little monkey named Bubbles. But he's dead, and this stuff is priced to move. Look at these cute little overalls. Look at this here sweater. Look at this cute little pair of satin underdraws. Wait a minute. These are Latoya's. Now go on, get out of here. Come on, boy. Come on, come on, come on. You got a skin problem? No problem. We got cases and cases of fade cream. Also great for removing birthmarks and incriminating moles. <laughs> Look here. Are you having trouble sleeping? Check out this hyperbaric sleeping chamber. No reasonable offer will be turned down. And it's got other uses, too. <laughs> Say you got a crazy daughter. Won't keep a damn mouth shut writing all them damn books. Locked from the outside. And it's soundproof, too. Get down here in the next 20 minutes and I'll throw in Latoya absolutely free. Better hurry, because 20 minutes of air is about all she got left. <laughs> Get hands off that book. Get your hands off. Joe Jackson, he beats prices like he beats his kids. Today? Yeah, old D.A., the relief pitcher. <laughs> oh, great. We're going to have some fun today. I heard his arm have no feeling in it. Let's come to order. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Uh, uh, Miss Belly uh, isn't feeling well today, so I'm going to be your substitute teacher. My name is Mr. Armstrong. <laughs> okay. uh, and that's spelled... plan I see you were working on world geography uh right am I, am I right? oh yes young man Mrs. Bailey usually writes the day of the week on the board as well yeah the day she always does that yeah oh uh, well, I, I wouldn't want to break tradition okay uh, uh, <laughs> all right okay Mrs. Bailey also puts down what she had for breakfast as well yeah, breakfast she always does that. Oh, that's kind of strange. Okay, well, I had some pancakes. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. 
You guys have to wake up pretty early to pull the wool over my eyes, buddy boy. Now let's get down to business, okay? We forgot the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah. 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 We right. always do it. Oh, uh, you, you guys still do that, huh? Yeah. Oh, well, then you go come up and lead it then. Okay, everybody, uh, get ready. Put your left hand over your heart. <laughs> ready? <laughs> ready? Hey, hey, hey! Hey, it's the right hand over the heart. <laughs> you little snut nosed rat! <laughs> You don't gotta twist my arm. <laughs> okay, who can tell me what you were doing in class yesterday? Uh, yesterday, Mrs. Bailey was pointing to locations on the map, and we'd have to guess what country it was. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, we always do that. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, uh, who can tell me what part of the world this is? Burbank. <laughs> no. Is it the Dead Sea? No, the Dead Sea's over here. How about the North Pole? Come on, now everybody knows the North Pole's over here. <laughs> All right, settle down. We have to study geography anyway. Well, to understand more about wildlife, take that bullfrog, for instance. That comes from Africa. What bullfrog? Where? Over there. Where? Hey. <laughs> I heard that, son. Ah, hey. uh, sorry about that. Could you give me back that eraser, please? I didn't say throw it. You kids are terrible. That's it. That's it. You little troublemakers. I didn't want to have to show you this side of me, but you forced my hand. Okay, now. Next time it'll be your heads. Okay, now turn to page 94. Yeah, yeah grandma books. Strong. And now, a few minutes with Brandy Rooney. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of thinking about stereotypes. Did you ever notice how many there are about black people? Take sports, for instance. When a black man knows a little something about basketball, they call him a natural. But when a white guy knows a little something about basketball, they call him the owner of the team. <laughs> and how come white people are so anxious to have a heavyweight champ? You know, a great white hope? What do white people need hope for? <laughs> they already have everything. And why is it whenever something goes wrong, they call it black? When the stock market crashed, it was Black Monday. When you're kicked out of a place, you're blackballed. And the worst disease ever was called the Black Plague. And by the way, what would the White Plague be? Tennis elbow? <laughs> and did you ever notice when a white guy gets a good job, he gets a good line of credit, but when a black guy gets a good job, he's a credit to his race. Try and buy a couch with that. <laughs> you know, it's not like there's not already enough credit cards out there today. There's Visa. American Express, Discover. Only thing I discovered is I can't get one. <laughs> and what about MasterCard? I don't know, I guess I'm just a little too sensitive about the word master. When I go shopping, I, I just want to think about picking out a shirt, not picking cotton. <laughs> and did you ever notice that every store seems to have a white sale? I guess it's a good thing they don't have a black sale. Last one I heard of, Kunta Kinte was marked 20% off. <laughs> That's the police going by. They sure are a helpful bunch. You know, their job is to protect and to serve. But what they don't tell you is that usually they're protecting their identity while they're serving you up an ass whooping. <laughs> and why do they paint those cars black and white? I guess to match the passengers. Blacks in the back seat and whites in the front. <laughs> now, that's not the rule. That's just another stereotype. Like the one about black men being so well endowed. Well... Maybe that's not such a good example. 
<laughs> this has been a few minutes of dissing with Randy Rubin. Miss New Jersey, what would you do if crime Miss America? <clears throat> I would stop all the children from being hungry all over the wide world by being in parades and wearing a crown on my head. her pants, she just spilled some lemonade on herself. Okay. Although nobody knows where she got a glass of lemonade from in, in math class. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's play cops and rappers. No, you play office. I don't like to play office. How come? Because I end up being the janitor. I'll let you be chairman of the blackboard. Okay, I can do that. I want a job. Okay, what are your qualifications? I got a bachelor's degree and a master's degree and an MBA and I was an astronaut on the space shuttle. Hey, you can type. Wait a minute, I got more qualities than that man. How come he gets to be a executive? Because he got one of these. Oh, no, no, no. Type, 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 type. You look so good today. Do you have on your Little Mermaid underwear? Oh, no, 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 Hey, that's Satchmo harassment. That's not Satchmo harassment. This is. Who put this public hair in my apple juice? Oh, that's not no public hair. Hey, let's Xerox your behind. behind. You're married. Um, but my wife. Said I work on her nerves. Want you loosen up, baby? I don't want to have a fair, and I refuse to play second griddle. Well, I promise you, I will leave my wife, and I will marry you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Whose donkey truck is this? Whose donkey truck is this? You, and I'm for you. You bring out the rum near me now. Go leave your wife. Oh, no. This we need to rethink. <laughs> this is insanity. We have to be adults here. Stop the madness. <laughs> okay, I guess now I'm gonna be the mysterious. So, you gotta give me some credit cards and set me up in an apartment with a kajuzi and cable TV. <laughs> Dad, girl, you just a nose digger. <laughs> Cable TV, you don't even love me. You ain't nothing but HBO ho. <gasps> and you're fired. Okay, what you all play now? Um, let's play the policeman. Okay. Pull over, pull over. What's the problem, Mr. Policeman? You black. Oh. <laughs> Competing tonight for a fortune in fabulous prizes, please welcome Anthony Clark. T-Bell Jenkins and Scotty Jack. Now the host of Wheel of Dozens, Stu Dempsey. Hello and welcome to Wheel of Dozens, where talking trash can get you cash. So when the wheel's turning, it's your mama we're burning. <laughs> oh, but first, let's welcome my lovely assistant, Badjame. <laughs> Badjame, may I just say you are all that in a bag of chips. Go to hell, Stu. <laughs> okay, thanks, Padgeme. Now show us what our contestants are playing for tonight. Well, Stu, it's a classic lowrider with dual overhead cams and four-wheel hydraulic shocks to keep you bouncing to the beat. This is not your mama's Oldsmobile. Back to you, Stu. One of you just might be driving at home tonight. All right, then. That's me. That's Round me. one, Scotty J. Time to spin the Let's wheel of dust. 
Here we go. Come on. Your mama's so stacked. Your mama's so stacked. Your mama's feet so big. Uh, your mama's feet so big, her sneakers gotta have license plates on them. Yes. <laughs> Tito, down to you. Right. Okay, Stu. Here we go. Come on, there. Mama's so heavy. Mama's so heavy. Mama's so heavy. Mama's so heavy. <laughs> your mama's butt, T Dog, is so bony. Your mama's butt so bony, she put her drawers on and cut them in two. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Mama's so fat. Here we go. Mama's so fat. Your mama's so beautiful. Anthony. What? So beautiful, man. Mm. Oh. Sorry, time's up. Not an easy category, Anthony, but plenty of time to make it up in round two, where you double your dollars if you double your disc. Scotty J, let her rip. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. Doubling your dollar value. Your mama's so hairy. Uh, your mama's so hairy, she looks like a chia pet with a sweater on. Yes. <laughs> your mama's so hairy, uh, 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 she got afros on her nipples. Yes. Oh, beautiful. A deuce. T-Dog, you're up. Right, right. Let her rip. Here we go. Come on now. Come on now. Your mama's so stupid. Come on now. T-Dog, you've got a stupid mama. Hey, man, if you don't check yourself, talk about my mama, like, what's up with you, man? <laughs> Just playing the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just playing the game. Stu, your mama's so stupid. I told her it was chilly outside, she went and grabbed a spoon. Yes. <laughs> your mama's so stupid, she got fired at the m m factory for throwing away the W's. <laughs> Your turn. Okay, all right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. Uh, Anthony. Uh, come on, come on. Your mama's so good at math. Man, come on, what kind of category is that? Oh. Sorry, Anthony, no points again. Yeah, but man, who ever heard of your mama's so good at math, man? It's a real, man. That's all right, just minute. I've said it before. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The wheel can be a hoe. <laughs> Around three, that's triple dozens, and it's still anybody's game. Scotty J, give it a spin. Uh, let's go. Uh, and we're looking for a greasy mama, Scotty greasy J. Mama, greasy mama, greasy mama. Uh, your mama's so greasy, she sweats Crisco. Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, your mama's so greasy, she used bacon as a band aid. Yes. Uh, your mama's so greasy when she slid into second base, I ended up in Detroit. <laughs> Nicely done. T-Dog, you're going to have to go three for three to stay alive. Give it a spin. Ain't none, G. Here we go. Come on, come on. Your mama's so fat. Come on, yeah, yeah. Your mama's so fat, T-Dog. Your mama's so fat, she play hopscotch like this. L.A., Chicago, New York, Detroit. Right, right, right. Your mama's so fat, she got to wake up in section. Oh, yes. Mama so fast, she stood in front of the Hollywood sign and just said HD. Look out, <laughs> Triple play, and the game is tied. Anthony, spin. Man, you heard it. Come Let on. her rip. Here we go. Your mama's so hard to buy shoes for. Oh, no, man. Hold on a second, man. This is foul, man. This is foul. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, Stu, man, tell him to say, say Anthony man. no longer in the house. Don't be scared of him, man. This ain't fair. <laughs> well, she's. <laughs> <laughs> but that means we do have a tie, and that means you're both going to advance to the lightning round. Come on down here for bonus play. You know how the rules are done. You've got one minute to provoke our mystery guest to violence. Hey, bring him on, whatever. Our mystery guest tonight was a recipient of the 1990 Nobel Peace Prize. She has dedicated her entire life to helping the sick, the orphan, and the diseased folk of Calcutta. She's everybody's favorite mama, and certainly no one could make this sweet woman lose her temper. Give it up for Mother Teresa. Oh. Mother Teresa, it's delightful to have you on the game. Stu, 
thank you. 60 seconds on the clock. And begin. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your mama's so skinny, I gave her a piece of popcorn and she went into a damn coma. <laughs> yeah, your mama got one arm, she's swimming a circle. You see, I have nothing but love in my heart. And you, you need a Tic Tac in your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, you heard him, you heard him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, your mother got one ear and a burnt potato chip. Yes, but... Uh, yes, yeah, but yeah, yeah, your mama gum so black she can spit chocolate milk. Oh, come on, you don't know what you say. I still love you. You yeah, still need yes. a Tic Tac. <laughs> yeah, your mama, your mama's so fat when she wear a red dress, everybody yell, Hey, Kool-Aid! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mama's so small, she posed for trophies. Oh, why must you be disrespectful to my mother? She never does nothing That's to you. That's your mama, ain't my mama. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, your mama got so many circles around her stomach, she looked like the damn hamburger. 